have a lot of salespeople that know a lot of stuff. We do a great job in training, filling their heads full of all this knowledge. But you always say, it's not what you say. Talk about what you mean by that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really a, a sweet spot for me, right? I mean, it's, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy coming from a guy who started in sales in 1983 and really has never done anything else in his life, right? I, I wish, quite frankly, that, that we could cut all of our sales force if we could cut their tongues out, including mine, including yours, and sell not on what we say, right? Not what comes out of your mouth. We've seen a whole bunch of silver tongued devils come in here that think they're gonna light the world up in sales. And, and it's, just, it's just all BS, quite frankly. And it's all talk, all talk. You know, the Toby Keith song, a little less talk, a little more action, something like that, right? But what, what, what I mean by that, cutting the tongues out is, People are going to forget, like you, you listen to Victor, they're going to quit, forget like 90% of what you said, you know, like as soon as you leave the house. But what they won't forget is what they've seen. So I don't think it's what you say, it's what they see. You know, what they see with their eyes, what you've demonstrated, right? Have you created that kind of separation from the minute you roll up to the door and you look like the Orkin gal or the Orkin guy, right? It has nothing to do with what you're coming out of your mouth, but when they look at you, you say, oh my gosh, these cats are different. They're really different. You know, and then, you know, again, not what you say on the inspection, not what you say on the biz suite, but how does it look? What did, they, what did they see you do physically on that inspection? Commercially, why did you go up on the roof when nobody else did? Well, that's why you went on the roof. Nobody else did. They saw you do that. They saw you ask to do that. It's a termite lead. It's April. It's Ohio. You get a termite lead. You walk up. The termites are here in the bedroom, Mr. D. Come see him. Come see him. And you go there, but you say, hey, you know what I got to do now? I gotta go into your attic. And they see you go into the attic. When the next three guys or gals that come in there aren't even gonna think about going into the attic or asking. So it's not, again, not what you say, it's what they see, what, what you demo to them so that they understand it. And that your biz suites and your home suites are like, whoa, get a load of that. When you think about it, we're always gonna ask for more money. And I don't think you can get by in today's world by just flapping your jaws and telling them something. Because if you think about it, folks want to disbelieve salespeople anyway. Everything's going on with the internet now, right? People don't even want to talk to salespeople. So again, I just want to reinforce the fact that it doesn't have a lick bit of something, that, how, how you say it. You know, it, it's really what they see. Can they see a difference? Does it make sense? Yeah, that gal is worth 500 more dollars than the Terminex guy that was in here talking all fancy, all right? Think about that. So I, I, I guess maybe I'm going too long on this, but, but I think what it comes down to is just, just think for a moment. If you didn't have a tongue and you couldn't communicate, could you convince people to buy? I think if you get really good at all the pieces that you can become that good to where it doesn't matter what you say because they're gonna forget it anyway. What did they see? What did, they de what did you demonstrate that set you so far apart from everybody else that they're willing to pay twice as much money? And I think that's the point I'm trying to make there. That, hopefully that, that, that got to what you were talking about, but that, that's kind of been the rallying cry for a long time. Again, I don't really mean that we want to cut everybody's tongues out, <laughs> particularly mine, but, uh, but, I, uh, but I think that's, uh, that, that's, that's a, put that in the back of your mind and think, it's not going to be what I tell them because they're going to forget that. Yeah. It's going to be what I see. It's again. very humbling to, to hear you say that because obviously they, we have to show them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't care what you say. <laughs> they don't care what you say. Think of yourself as a buyer. That's Amen. awesome. Amen. Good enough. Good job. Cool.